For centuries, people have tried many things to extend humans' natural lifespan. There have been many written stories about people searching for the fountain of youth, including mythical locations so they could live for a longer time. However, it seems one man, Li Qingyun, may have found the secret during his lifetime, and his story, which I am about to share, will definitely have you blown away. According to scientific data, in recent times, the average life expectancy is 79 years. In the 18th century, the life expectancy was 33, while in Neolithic times it was only 21. Even though the present probable future may seem like a lot compared to other eras, people still want to live longer than this. Besides, advances in medicine and technology have helped the modern man live much longer. So should we consider ourselves lucky? Perhaps. But how Ching Yun managed to live for several decades in a time when this wasn't a common thing is a story you shouldn't miss for anything in the world. Ching Yun's story came to the limelight when a professor of the Chengdu University found imperial Chinese government records from 1827, congratulating the man on his 150th birthday. The professor also found other documents wishing him well on his 200th birthday. Even though most people do not believe that a man can live beyond 200 years, there is more proof to back this up. For instance, in 1928, a New York Times correspondent wrote that many of the old men in Li's neighborhood asserted that their grandfathers knew Ching Yun when they were boys. During this period, they reported he was already an old man, must have come a long way then and seen so much. Definitely the right person to learn life secrets from. And you are only a few seconds away from benefiting from this great man's wealth of wisdom. So who is Ching Yun and how long did he live? This legend was born in 1677 and died in 1928, living for 256 years. Although Yuan claims to have been born in 1734, birth records in Xi Jiangshan, Sichuan province state his birth year as 1677. This mix-up from Qing Yun's part could be because of old age. Adulthood sometimes comes with a loss of memory, so there is a high probability he forgot his birth year. In fact, experts claim since no proper records were kept in the ancient days, Li Chengyan may have lived even longer, as his age might have been more than the on-record 256 years. So how did this great man start his life? And are there any hidden lessons within? Of course! Right from a tender age, Ching Yuan set himself apart for greatness. At age 10, he was first among his equals and could read and write pretty well. While kids his age spent more time playing, Yuan quickly discovered he had a passion for herbalism, and he wasted no time in creating a name for himself in this niche. Each morning he went to the mountain. There he studied different herbs and their usage, and also learned how they could boost longevity. At age 10, he had already traveled to Kansu, Shanxi, Tibet, Anam, Siam, and Manchuria, gathering herbs. Right from a tender age, he fed on those herbs, and refused to eat anything but Lingji, Goji Berry, Wild Ginseng, Hei Shu Wu, go to cola and rice wine. For the first hundred years of his life, he earned a living by selling these herbs. Afterward, he switched to selling the herbs gathered by others. Even though he lived to 256, surely there could have been a limit to the things that he could do at 100. Besides, if he had done such strenuous activities in his old age, then we probably wouldn't be talking about him today. And what about his social life? Well, someone who lived that long had enough time to do everything he ever wanted to do. Got a list of things you want to do? Perhaps this great man here must have taken that. Anyway, here are a few things he did during his lifetime. In 1749, at 71, Ching Yuan joined the Chinese army as a teacher of martial arts. During his time, there were reports he was much loved and women had an eye for him. So he married 23 times and had over 200 children. One thing great and successful people always say is to copy success and have mentors. Yuan knew this so well, so he went in search of a man who reportedly lived over 500 years. Through his friendship with this man, Yuan learned more secrets that helped him live a strong, fulfilled, and healthy life. His great teacher taught him Qijong exercises and dietary options that helped extend his lifespan. But other than these exercises and a diet filled with herbs, there is something crucial you need to learn from this great man. On his deathbed, Yuan said, I have done all that I have to do in this world. These words reinforce fulfillment. Our mental health plays a significant role in our life. So what this man could try to say is to always do the thing we want. During his last moments, one warlord, Wu Pei Fu, took Yuan into his house to learn the secret that helped him live long. Here are his words to the warlord. 
Keep a quiet heart, sit like a tortoise, walk sprightly like a pigeon, and sleep like a dog. From these words, Yuan attributed his longevity to his peaceful state of mind. So many of us are so concerned about the future that we often forget to live our lives in the present day. In this present era, life expectancy is between 70 to 80 years. However, some people still live beyond this age, and you should also get to know their secret too. One excellent example is Watanabe, who lived for 112 years. Born in 1907, Watanabe was the oldest of eight children. Right from a tender age, he showed an interest in agriculture. Later on, he solidified his dream by attending a school of agriculture. Even after graduation, he put what he had learned to use and worked in a sugar plantation. He had always been the friendly type, who placed an importance on human relationships. So he had an early marriage. Shortly after getting married to his wife, Mitsue, they started a family. Watanabe also led an active life. Shortly after the World War, he served in the Japanese military. But after this war, Watanabe and his family returned to Niigata. Life in post-war Japan proved difficult, but this man took challenging situations as more reasons to forge ahead. Eventually, he found a job at an agricultural office, and he remained there until his retirement. Upon retirement, he continued doing the things that he enjoyed. Apart from agriculture, he also enjoyed building. So he and his son Tetsuo built a house on farmland. There he grew potatoes, tomatoes, strawberries, and plums. He continued this way until he turned 104 and no longer had the strength for farming activities. But agriculture wasn't the only thing he loved. He was a bonsai artist and performed at local exhibitions. As time passed, he became frail and was taken into a nursing home. Even at that, he continued to lead an active life. In the morning, he exercised. He also indulged in origami and calligraphy. Medical reports showed he enjoyed taking sweets, particularly brown sugar. When he got very old and couldn't chew anymore, he took custard puddings. Shortly before his death, he was asked the secret to his long life, and he had a plain, simple answer. The key is not to get angry and keep a smile on your face. He also agrees that peace of mind is crucial to one's health and lifespan. Not only was he able to reveal his secret before his death on the 12th of February, but some representatives of the Guinness World Records also visited Watanabe in the nursing home in Japan. They presented him with a certificate as the world's oldest man. Two weeks after receiving his award, he died. According to reports, there was no cause given for his death. He just developed a fever and had difficulty breathing. He left behind five children, two grandchildren, 16 great-grandchildren, and one great-great-grandchild. Even though one may not live up to 200 years, it's possible to live over 100 years. Just like these men, it's important to always keep one's mental and physical health in check. It's also crucial to be careful of what one eats. Just like Yuan and Watanabe, it's important to also spend enough time exercising and practicing breathing techniques. All these help to keep the body fit. Certainly, if we do all these, living up to 100 years would be a norm. What other activities do you know that can extend one's lifespan?